Hey everyone, Nevi Matrim here. Are you trying to play Left 4 Dead 2 and having notable annoying performance issues such as stuttering, hitching, lag spikes, that kind of thing? There's many things it could be, but I think I might have a solution that could help you. I've been having these issues for a long time and despite all of my research, I really struggled to find the answer, but I think I may have found the solution that would help. Or at least it works for me. All you need to do is go to Left 4 Dead 2 in Steam, right click it, and go to Properties. Here you'll see your launch options, where you can enter command line variables to change how the game is going to behave. You need to type in dash threads, space, one. Yes, one. As you can see here, dash threads, space, one. That's it. Close the launch options and you're now ready to play. Advanced users may be thinking, wait, can't you just turn off multi-core rendering in the settings or set matte Q mode to zero? Uh, no. Me doing that has no effect on my game, where typing dash thread space one manages to fix it. It's bizarre. Um, but yeah, I don't know why, but let's have a look and see the improvements. Keep in mind my game before this was a bit of a stuttery mess, and now it should be perfectly smooth. Prior to this I was having large issues on the maps Dead Air and The Last Stand with their laggy performance. But now I'll load up one of those and we'll see how it runs. And hopefully this launch option fixes it for you as well as it does for me. Let me skip this loading time. I'm out of practice when it comes to this game. I'm sure you can't tell. <laughs> but yeah, the performance is a lot more consistent than it was before when I had threads set to 8. There's no random stuttering whenever the game feels like it. Everything just remains pretty damn smooth. Which is how I like it. So yeah, let me know in the comments if this worked. And if it doesn't, just take it out of your launch options and your game will go back to how it was. Thanks for watching. God damn it, Bill.